What's fun about conventions? What is fun about conventions? So much! <laughs> Pixelkin. I'm Simone de Rochefort. And I'm Kizzy Young. Today we're going to talk about what you should know before you bring your family to a convention. It's fun! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time and you should do it. But if you've never been to a convention, it's kind of scary to know where to start and what convention to go to and where to jump in and what you even do at conventions. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Here are some things you can expect from conventions. I've met so many awesome friends at conventions. You might get tons of cool free swag. You get t-shirts and pins and stickers. Screenings of favorite shows. Most conventions have artist alleys where local artists will get together and sell their wares. And there's also merch halls where you can get some of the more official stuff. Skits, panels, contests. Tabletop games, video games. Awesome costumes. Not so age appropriate cosplay. No food. Masquerades and dances. Celebrities. Fame. Fortune. I met Troy Baker. He said S I was cool. Stop rubbing it in! Crowds. Conventions can range a lot in size. There are small ones that are really local that maybe only have a couple hundred people. And then there are the huge ones like PAX or San Diego Comic-Con that have thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people. Kids sometimes can get really overwhelmed, but it's okay because there are a lot of safe spaces and quiet places that you can go to. Scope out the area beforehand and know what you're getting yourself into. At conventions, you can find panels on basically anything from how to build costumes to media analysis of this particular show to long discussions of different kinds of representation in you name it, anime, gaming, comics, all kinds of nerd media. Panels will have industry experts, fans that have studied this stuff for years, sometimes decades, and even academics talking about the stuff that they love. You get release dates and special information that nobody else knows about. You can hear the creators talk in depth about how they went through the process of making the game and what it was like to work on it. Sometimes you find out how to get hired at Bioware, though you haven't been yet because Love you. There are also panels that are specifically for kids. There are puppet shows, um, all kinds of stage plays. Craft rooms where kids can put together dolls or toys. The program guide usually mentions if the panel is kid friendly, family friendly, etc. Or if it's adults only, which usually only happens later at night. So conventions are really a place for adults to get together. People are just relaxing and having fun and they're not necessarily thinking about the fact that there could be kids around. You might be in the vicinity of people who are playing games and getting frustrated mm -hmm. and then yelling a little bit. But if something's making you uncomfortable, do feel free to speak up about it. Check the regulations of the convention beforehand. A good convention will have harassment policies and general behavior policies and will enforce them. So if you can find a con personnel and let them know that someone is behaving inappropriately, they can take care of that for you. There's always an information booth where con staff are always present to answer any questions you might have. If you have younger kids especially, it might be good to find a meeting spot and let everybody know where that is so that if they do get lost, you'll at least have a way to find each other. You might have teenagers that are interested in going to conventions by themselves. It's important to talk to them about stuff like partying, alcohol, just being safe. If you're really concerned, something that we've seen a lot of parents do is get a hotel room with their child and let the teenager do their own thing at the convention, but meet at set times to check in and make sure that everything is going okay. Cosplay is a huge part of conventions. There's a lot of cosplay that isn't necessarily family friendly. There's people dressing up as zombies and monsters and that kind of thing. Most cosplayers are very friendly, regardless of whether they're dressed as a zombie or a princess. As someone who has dressed up as both a zombie and a princess, I love it when little kids come and say hi to me and want to take a picture. And it can be a way for kids to meet their fictional heroes in real life, which is really powerful. Or to be their heroes if they're dressed up as their favorite character. Conventions usually invite celebrities like actors, writers, and artists, and you can ask them questions about the work that they've done and really learn a lot about what it's like on set or in the studio. It's just really cool. You can get autographs and pictures sometimes. Snacks. Everybody loves snacks. Bring snacks. Snacks are literally the best thing you can do for yourself. Bring a backpack, stuff it with 
healthy snacks that are non-perishable and that won't mind being squished for a day. Water, definitely bring water bottles. It's really easy at a convention to get overwhelmed by all the fun you're having and forget that you need to eat and drink water, but it's so, so important. So please do not forget to bring snacks. Don't forget to bring snacks. Don't forget <laughs> to bring snacks. If there's anything that you do, bring snacks. If you take away one thing from this video, <sighs> snacks. After all this, the best thing you can do before con is to prepare. So if you go to a convention, do expect to have a hectic weekend of crowds and running around and exhaustion. But also expect to have an awesome time with your family, just bonding over the things that you all love. So what we want you to do is check out your local conventions and try it for a day. Bring your kids. And if you're going to Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle, you should check out our panels. More information below.